Ahead of the upcoming elections, a survey found that 80% of new voters intend to vote. But more than 40% are unsure of who to vote for. Jason Wee from Architects of Diversity shares with us the aspirations of youth in politics. One inference we can make is that there's no appealing choice, uh, no appealing political choice at the moment where political parties are either, you know, too similar uh, in, you know, uh, their reputation that you feel disenfranchised or the fact that no political party matches their preference. Now, this sentiment felt was highest among Chinese voters, Chinese youth voters, as well as female youth voters. Um, at the same time, you know, for those who do have a choice at the moment, there is a tight race between BN, PN, Muda, as well as BH, uh, especially in Peninsula Malaysia. Uh, but at the moment, uh, BN is leading with a very marginal percentage point among youth voters. Jason emphasized that issues relating to livelihood resonates the most with the youth. The trifecta being wages, uh, home ownership, as well as healthcare, where youth thought that this was very important and majority of youth felt uh, the government should pay more attention to wage deflation, uh, better ability to access home ownership as well as budget for healthcare. Now, I think the question here and the point being that it's about convincing you voters for about an economic vision and narrative for Malaysia. And which party can, that can successfully do that better will be better be able to access the youth pool of voters. Now, also, there are also secondary issues that um, also are concern for youth, such as gig worker protection, mental health resources, as well as rent control. All of these issues that are unique to youth, uh, which are very highly, highly agreed, less so important than the traffic of livelihood, but were still really quite important and very much agreed upon by youth. Uh, essentially, one thing safeguards to their livelihood of being. So, what can political parties do to entice young voters and ensure that they are properly represented? Jason said increasing both female and youth representation in politics would be a start. I think fielding women and youth in the upcoming general elections is extremely important. As previously mentioned, 50% of youth want to see more uh, women representation and 63% of youth saying that there are too few youth in politics at the moment and even higher among undecided youth voters. And I think, for example, the introduction of many new faces by BN as well in, in the Johor state elections was something that was very welcomed among youth voters. The second thing as well I want to mention is that representation in, pol in policies and campaign matters. As parties gear up for the 15th general election, I think it's going to be quite interesting to compare how their youth manifestos will shape up and compare to each other. The party that can successfully listen and capture more youth voices and respond to that with effective policies that are convincing rather than a parrot of previous policies will be something that's refreshing and could possibly capture the 40% of undecided youth voters. However, this is only half of the equation. Jason also urged for young voters to play their part and vote. In, in order for us to be represented as a legitimate and very important swing party and swing demographic within the upcoming elections, you must be willing to go out there to vote, even though it's choosing the less of two evils. I think that's a hard bullet that any maturing democracy needs to bite, where we won't have our perfect preference, but there needs to be an expression of high voter turnout in order for a domino effect to happen in the upcoming elections, even after that.